Yo, what up, though? It's known again. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to do an album review again. It's going to be nice. Life is good. Life ain't been too good to the nigga lately. You know, Khalees and taxes and shit. Shame. But, um... I'm gonna give it this. I'm gonna give it a, a whirl. Let's go. No introduction. Justice League. You know, puts the smack on that motherfucker, bruh. This nigga used the gospel sample from what I heard. You know what I'm saying? And this shit, Nas is is shh, nigga a top three rapper, easy. Top three. Top three percentile and shit. No introduction. Nas goes in, boy. I give this track a four point five. Locomotive featuring the large professor talking about Nas's history. This is hip hop shit. This is hip hop, my nigga. Real hip hop shit. This is beat. 90s all over. You know I'm a 90s fanatic. 4.5. Classic hip hop shit. A queen story. <laughs> you know. The little rhyme at the end. It's a little rhyme at the end. I'm going to fast forward to automatically so I can let y'all niggas. It'll lead you into the next out, the next song on the album. But listen to what this nigga be saying. You ain't mean to murk him. Your guns are virgin. Better stay on point. If not, it's curtains. Bebo Posse reincarnated through me probably. Women 3.5 without this. I'm not saying to be the toughest. But I'm to blame for a few faces reconstructed in the game that we were stuck in. Now I'm the only black in the club. The rich yuppie kid. Sad thing. This is the top of where the hustles went. No familiar faces around. Ain't gotta grab the musket. It's all safe and sound. Champagne by the way. Alright. Accident murderers. That's a joint. Justice League again. Give it a 4.5. Dope shit. My niggas with daughters. I give that a 5. Just another classic Nas example. It's a, a story behind all Nas' shit. So daughters has got to be... You know, he leaves the concept in. When we fuck around on these girls and shit, we fuck around and have a daughter with one of the women. And you have to watch after her every move and shit. Reach out, you know, on them 90s whopping at the motherfucking uh, house parties and shit. Classic Mary shit. Give it a 4.5 for dopeness. World's an addiction. Just dark. Gully. With Anthony Hamilton in his bitch. I give it a 4. Niceness. It's that it's that real shit that Nas be talking about on that record. Summer on Smash. Nice little banger. You know, Nas never gets enough credit for crafting together good bangers. A lot of people criticize him because he's a lyricist for doing this type of shit. But Miguel Gayass was weird for it, but it was alright. Swizzy Hook. Swiss, this wasn't the average Swiss beat. This was different, bro. I like this one. Summer on Smash and shit. You wouldn't understand? That's a five. This is like one of them classic Nas songs. It sounds like it was sampled from Eric B. and Rakim. It was, I think. The hook. I'm going to fast forward to that hook, though. I just like Victoria and Monet's part. Victoria Monet destroys his hook. I don't know who this chick is, but she's dope. I like this. This is the vibe. Back when, 
I'm gonna go in on this in a minute when it drops. Yeah, this is a four. Nice little four. Talk about his whole career and shit like that. Setbacks. The Don. Not the Don, not the Don. This is a party anthem. This is a 4.5. Every time, when I first heard this song, the bass was beating in the car. My head was just like, bah, 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 bah. Kind of looked like Chad Johnson, Headbutt Neverland and shit. That's how crazy I went on when this came out. This is like a 90s type shit, man. You no, know I'm gonna always go crazy for that. Stay. I like it. Nice little song. It's a four. Nas has a has a uh, ulterior motive of creating stuff that's just cl classic. Stay one of them nice little songs. Cherry wine. I give this a fucking five because of Amy Winehouse, man. I mean, Amy Winehouse makes anything sound good. It's too bad her life was cut short. This would have been hot. This would have sold Nas like 150 more thousand records right here. He still can put this shit out as a single. I get to see niggas in, in the suits where they hold the Tommy gun in the Harlem night setting this shit, sipping wine, Amy on that motherfucker, singing. I just love that song. Bye, baby. This is my favorite song on the album. Fuck y'all. I've been through that situation. Except, you know, ain't no chick took me for having my money, though. It's a sad song. But, man, this song, you know, got me through a lot. Even though it just came out and shit. Got the Aaron Hall, Goodbye Love sample on it. I love Bye, baby. This is the shit. He's talking about Khalees and shit, it's their whole relationship or whatever. I like when Nas do that personal shit. Nasty. Five. Fucking classic. Three fives in a row. That's rarity in today's album market. Nas, Nas the only one of the only cats that could do this outside of Jay-Z and Eminem. Three straight fucking fives, bro. Classic. Classic record right there. The Black Bond. You know, I give that a four. Some more 90s type shit. Nice little story. Street story. It reminds me of You Can't Kill Me from Hip Hop is Dead. Roses. Five. Nigga again talking about his relationships. And he's comparing the relationship with a girl to a rose and its thorns. Nice little, nice little joint. It's dark as fuck, though. Where's the love? I like this shit. It's a four. Alright, overall, you know what I'm saying? Nas, nasty Nas is fucking back. 80.5 divided by how many joints? Like 18? Yeah, divided by 18. 4.47, that's a 4.5, like I thought. Life is good is a 4.47, so that's a 4.5. That's an A minus. You know what I'm saying? I think Nas needed a little bit, like two more. If he would have had like two more classics on that bitch, I think it would have been a classic record. It was damn, it's like dancing around the edge. You know, this goes up there with Hip Hop is Dead. Up there with Illmatic, Stillmatic. You know, this is like one of his best albums. Like, you know, I Am wasn't that great. It was written, was overrated to me, but it was a 4.5. Um, but Illmatic, Stillmatic, and Hip Hop is Dead are like the classic albums. Like, this is an album you expect from Nas. I didn't expect more. This is exactly what I expected. But it's a 4.5. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nas. For having one of the best albums of the year, life is good, and I'm gone.